Hey Maximizers and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Crystal. I'm a coupon coach and educator with my company, KristenMaximizer.com. And yes, 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 your girl was on the local Orlando news. So it's super late. When you see this video, it's going to be Thursday. But yesterday morning, I had the pleasure of being on Fox 35 here in Orlando. And they asked me questions around how I was able to go from getting fired to starting my business and to give some tips and tricks on how to coupon grocery shop during our current pandemic situation. So basically, I'm going to show you the news clip. It's about four minutes. I recorded us watching it together. Me and Kinsley watched it together. And she was so excited and freaking out. I had one cringe worthy moment like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I said that. And I wanted to give you guys just a little bit of background because I posted the video on my Facebook and I posted it uh, to my family and friends on Facebook and everyone was so excited. But I did get a couple questions on how did I even get to the news station? So I wanted to take a second, let you know how I got this opportunity and then also show you the video. So if you're interested in seeing my news, my TV debut, then just keep on watching. Okay, so back in February, I did the Propel Her Pitch Competition with the National Association of Women Business Owners here in Orlando. And I'll insert some clips of my speech here. Her YouTube channel in August 2018 to show people how to coupon. As the channel grew, she was able to further help her subscribers outside of YouTube with coupon classes and membership communities, thus creating a full-fledged business. Her company's goal is to help her clients learn strategic shopping methods to save money on household items and groceries using coupons to never pay full price. Placed in third place for the division of the competition I competed in. At the end of the competition, so many other women came up to me, congratulated me. They were excited about my business. They wanted to know more. How could they help? And one young lady gave me the information to the Fox 35 producer. And she said, I think you would be great on the news. I think they would love to hear your story. Reach out to them. So at the end of February, I followed up and I sent an email, but I didn't hear anything back. So I was like, oh, well, maybe they don't need me, blah, 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 right? You know, you send emails, you wait for responses. You never know when your opportunity is going to come. So actually this week on Monday, they shot me an email like, hey, Crystal, would you be interested in talking about how you got fired, how you were able to turn that into a business and then give us some tips and tricks about how we can coupon and grocery shop during this crazy time? And I was like, uh, yeah. They were like, let's do a Skype interview. We'd love to have you. Your interview will be around five minutes. I was like, oh my, I was freaking out like I'm gonna be on the news so then I you know got on Skype and then talked to them through my headphones so I could hear them they could see me it was so amazing I also got questions on if I was nervous no I was born for this I was made for this I freaking love this I love couponing so freaking much it gives me I don't even know like it's like a drug for me. It's so exciting. I love couponing, but I love helping other people so much more. I love being able to have a five minute conversation with somebody and see the impact it can have on their lives. Um, it just, it overwhelms me with so much joy. So I wasn't nervous. I was freaking excited. I made bullet points. I outlined what I should say because your girl goes off on tangents and I don't want to be rambling on the news. I wanted to be clear. I wanted to be concise. I did have one cringe worthy moment, which you'll see in the video that I'm about to show you. So now let's go ahead and check it out. I wasn't nervous. I wasn't scared. I was freaking excited. And I loved watching it with Kinsley. Listen to her reaction because Kinsley is a mess. So now let's go ahead and check out my news debut. And a local woman knows that feeling all too well. She lost her job last August, but now she's got her own business teaching others how to save, which will help them to get back on their feet. And we're so excited to talk to her today. Joining us live right now is coupon coach Crystal Sharp. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> Encouragement. So take us back through your story. How did you cope 
when you lost your job and how were you able to sort of pull yourself up by your bootstraps and start something new? Well, to be honest with you, I always knew that I would have my own business at some point. I didn't know when. And actually getting fired was the best thing that happened to me because it allowed me to blossom from my creativity. And something that's really interesting is that once I did got fired, got fired. Oh my god. Because they knew that I had a side hustle. So basically I turned my side hustle, my YouTube channel, my coupon coaching into my full time job once I got fired. So I always had multiple streams of income because the way the world is right now, it's really hard to live on one income. So I already started to diversify my offerings and my side hustle and I just took that full time. So walking into what I loved and turning my passion into profits, it's really what helped me stay positive and motivated to go full time into my business. So Crystal, there are a lot of uh, uh, groups out there that offer help, right? Like small business incubator type of things. Did you access those places for advice or help or did you just kind of forge your own path? Um, well, I had a coach. I was a part of a mastermind with my side hustle. Um, so oh, no. Vantage Point Coaching. That is in the way. She is actually local to Orlando. I was in her mastermind, and they really helped me stay focused on growing my side hustle and making it an actual full-time business. But I had already kind of started that before I was actually fired. So they really helped propel me. And then I actually got a business coach as well to help me grow my online business. All right, so everybody's trying to save money right now. A lot of folks have lost their jobs or they've been furloughed. I imagine you're seeing a lot of people coming to you for help. What advice are you giving folks? Um, so my biggest advice is to be strategic. Even though times are a little crazy right now, make a meal plan. Meal plan for the next week or two and check to see what you already have existing in your household. So what meats are in the freezer? What things do you have in the pantry? So what cute. meals can you put together? I can't really see your lipstick. Your based on the things that you need. And also look forward to the future. You may have toilet paper right now, but how long is that toilet paper going to last you? So even though you have some at home, get one for the next two weeks because we don't know when our stores are going to be restocked again so be strategic and make a meal plan and use what you have existing and think about things that are going to allow your family to eat for more days than just one dinner i love that yeah you gotta be frugal right now and couponing really has changed so much right very few people are still cutting coupons out of the newspaper are you impressed with how coupons have really gone to high tech I love the rebate app aspect of coupons. So basically you can purchase items and earn instant cash back and then also use digital coupons. Another tip is to shop at your local CVS or Walgreens. Those stores are much less crowded and I was able to do a bunch of food deals at both stores and utilize my digital coupons right on my phone so I didn't have to really pass coupons to the cashier or anything. Everything was all digital. All right. Crystal, such good advice. How can people find you? Um, you can find me on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook at Chris the Maximizer, and that's Chris with a K, K-R-Y-S, the Maximizer. All right. You're very inspirational. Thank you so much for being with us, Crystal. Good to talk to you. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Take care. Ugh, every time I watch it, I just get electrified. I've watched it a few times today. But that is it, y'all. That is my news debut. If you're interested in seeing my full pitch when I was at the Propel Her Pitch Competition, let me know in the comments. And I can upload that video to YouTube as well if you guys want to see me talk about Krista Maximizer, my business, and me basically pitching to NABO to see if they would give me a business grant. Now, while I didn't win the business grant, I got so many connections, and this is one of them. So... What I'm going to say to you is if you have a dream, if you have a passion, if you have a business, if you are walking in your purpose, networking is everything. You never know who you're going to meet that could lead you to your next opportunity. I could have been devastated. I could have been so upset that I didn't win the competition. But look at that. I got to be on the news and I've made other connections from just being in the competition and being around all of the amazing women business owners that were competing and the ones that were watching us in the audience. So like the networking is like unmatched, that is priceless because you never know who you're gonna be in a room with. So work hard towards your passion, don't give up. And when we're able to go out and network again, make sure you go out and you go to those coffee dates, you go to those events, 
You never know who you may meet. And even digitally, I um, know a couple couponers on Instagram and I've been connecting with them. And we're in this group together where we're networking and helping each other out. Like, you should try this or you should do this or let's do this together. This could help you. Like, you never know who you might meet. One person can literally change the trajectory of your life, of your business, of your freaking finances. So network make friends keep those contacts so when you exchange contact information with someone at a networking event follow up send an email like so you don't miss out on it think about if i would have never sent that email i would have not been on the news so i want to thank you guys so much for watching please let me know in the comments if you liked it um if you feel inspired and also let me know if you want to see my full pitch video because i can drop that as well on youtube Again, thank you guys so much for your love and support. I appreciate each and every one of you. Please go watch a video or two and let the ads play through. Kinsley and I would really appreciate it. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.